highlight the attacks that are being made on the education service and the lack of consultation in that regard. We've had two years pay freeze, uh, we've had five years of way below inflation increases. Actually now we're 10% worse off than we were compared to inflation and with our pension contribution increases. If you move to a different school, you're used to be able to take where you've got to because it's to do with your experience and your skills. You take your pay level with you. That's all gone. There's also performance related pay. They're brought in a very strict system of appraisal. Teachers can't progress. They can't get any pay increases unless they meet the targets. But even if they meet the targets, they still might not get them. What do we want? Go back! What do we want? It? What do we want? Go back! What do we want? It? Go! Gove wants to uh, extend our working day, um, ask us to work on Saturdays, well, or just to work on Saturdays. He wants us working in the classroom till we're 68. The pensions, um, they increase our contributions, we're going to get less out of it, and we're going to have to work to 68. And I mean, it's ridiculous to think of a lot of teachers, PE teachers, uh, primary school, and infant school teachers working till they're 68. The government say it's unaffordable, but they've refused to revalue the pension scheme, so obviously they're hiding something. Obviously, that, that isn't the case. No ifs, no buts, no education cuts, no ifs. Obviously, you know, we want decent pay and conditions that we've fought for and won for over the, over the years, but it's about state education and a decent education, free education for all children. Gove is messing around with the curriculum, he's trying to privatise schools and make profit out of education, and we believe that all children should be entitled to a decent education by well-qualified and well-paid teachers. We feel very strongly that standards are being eroded and um, it is, at the end of the day, it's the pupils that are going to lose out. Mr. Gove is right, uh, uh, destroying education in terms of the standards. He thinks the standards are rising, but that's not the case. In terms of education cuts, it's affecting the classroom where it all matters. In terms of pay cuts and actual resourcing the uh, classrooms, so it is having a negative impact. Education, not the sale. Go, go, go. We can't actually get on with the business of teaching students because we're always completing paperwork uh, and always having to account for everything that we're doing and it's driving standards down. It's creating a huge amount of stress and it's, it's taken away from learning time because the staff are in meetings all the time um, to be looking at data and to be planning new initiatives to drive up performance whereas we're not actually getting face time with the kids. He's already said next year he's going to do lots of other changes. Schools can decide their own holidays, so parents will have children at schools with, with different holidays. There's going to be shorter school holidays, longer school days. Not all pupils are academic. He wants to go back to the old-fashioned tiered system where we will have people right at the bottom. And it's just a real shame that he doesn't understand the profession well enough. It is the next generation that will lose out. They're going to be losing out on people that really want to teach but are being pressured by paperwork, extra pension contributions and so on. And they're being forced out. 50% of NQTs are out within the first five years. They leave the profession, 50% of NQTs. We're in, in favour of a, a, a child-led and child-centred, evidence-based um, policies for teaching. And, you know, hand teaching back to the educationists and the teachers. We know what we're doing. Let us take control of education. We will not talk to our union leaders at a national level. If, if we negotiated, then this strike wouldn't be there. It's a war against the unions. Uh, that's what we are fighting against here. Uh, we are trying to preserve our terms and condition of employment. Uh, I know, we're not asking for a much. All we're asking is to respect us and respect us as a profession. No buts, no education cuts. No it's, no buts, no education cuts. Everywhere we go, we've got support. Everyone seems to be on board with this. Uh, education is valuable to everybody. Um, we need to make sure that we protect it at all costs. First time for a long time that the NUT and the NAS have been able to come together in this way, uh, and I think that shows how important the, the campaign is. Our students, if Gove gets his way, will have a future where, despite the best efforts of schools, despite the best efforts of teachers, they'll be constantly assessed and reassessed 
to meet the arbitrary targets of government and offset. Targets which in many cases are in real understanding of education or development or family. I don't want to go back to making lists of children who have not played their dinner or producing an analysis of attendance figures. I don't want to be standing at photocopies and ticking boxes. I don't want to come to work worrying about whether the pay I am on will be equitable, portable, or transparent across the land, or whether I will end up on a zero hour contract affecting my mortgage. And why do I not want these things? Well, because it means I can live in an effective teacher and concentrate fully and wholeheartedly on the teaching and learning that takes place in my classroom.